Anybody who wants to, you can come on down. There's plenty of space to spread out along the altar rail if you want a little more room. Or you can come sit up here if you want. Be next to baby Jesus. That's the sweet spot. Yes, yes, in fact it is. Well, I am so grateful to you, you amazing cast, who helped us enter this special story. This is not an incredible group of They are amazing. You gave us quite a gift, because this story is the story for everyone. And I was really proud of how you just dove in there and made this story your own. I didn't always feel like this story about Jesus was a story about me. In fact, sometimes it felt a little hard to understand. I mean, I had a dog when I was growing up, but I've never taken care of sheep. And I certainly have never given birth to something like this, an incredible miracle. No. No. And I certainly don't ever recall knowing that I've talked to an angel. But you, you brought this story alive for us. And that, that is an amazing gift, so thank you. You know, this story about God's love really teaches us that gifts come in unexpected ways. Nobody really understood or knew what Jesus' coming would do. But he has changed everything. You know, angels, they came with their tidings of comfort and joy, but it was really hard to understand. I wonder what you noticed coming back to this story, because my question is, it's not the first time you've heard it. Somebody mentioned they noticed we have a real life thing in Jesus, and that is an amazing thing. What else did you notice? Anybody? Anything you noticed this year when we came back? Well, this is a story that every time I return to it, I always find there's more. There's more than I ever saw or understood. One of the things I found so special about having Maggie with us this year is that there is something really precious about being near someone so small and thinking about God, God who made the whole world becoming tiny and looking to us, reaching out to us in love, wow, that, that was something no one knew to expect. I wonder what ways we'll be surprised by love this year. Do you have any guesses? Well, I think one of the things that we can be really excited about is getting to be here and getting to be very still. You know, that's what was so impressive about those shepherds. They couldn't wait to come and find out what it meant for God to come in this form of a little baby. Uh, excuse me. Uh, sorry, I have a delivery. Uh, what? Are you Reverend Sarah? Yeah. Yeah, um, I, uh, I've been trying to get in. The grocers are pretty, uh, you know. Oh, uh, dear. Here, but I, I, I want to make sure that I deliver this to St. Paul's. So. Oh, well, thank you. I'm sorry I had trouble getting in. I mean, our office is closed. It is Christmas Eve. But I really appreciate you bringing this to us. Oh, I have to ask you to sign for that. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you. I hope you'll get to have some time off with your family oh, and friends. You're my last stop. I'm, I'm headed home now. All right. Well, thank you and Merry Christmas. Thank you. See you in the new year. All right. We'll leave forward to it. God bless you. Anybody want to help me open this box? Should we see what's inside? Something so important that they wanted to come and bring it to us here? You want to help me? Come on up. Let's see. I think there's some tape. Here, let me get it started and you can rip it. There you go. Try this side. Try this side. What is it? iPhone 14. Well, that would be quite a gift. Not what I'm expecting. I think it's kind of the wrong size, though. Let's see. You want to pull this side? You want to pull it for me? Right there? Can you pull that apart? Give it a tug. Oh, and they packed that good. All right, thank you. Well, let's see what's inside. An ornament. Well, that, that could 
It looks like baby Jesus, doesn't it? Although, he's, he's missing a little bit of pigment. That's okay. You know, I would have never expected him to turn up this way. But it's kind of special that he did. You know, people didn't know to expect God's love in the form of a little baby. But the angels came all the same to wake people up and to help them see what was coming into the world. And you know, those shepherds, they like to make haste. Well, they were the ones who were paying close enough attention. And they ran as fast as they could to see what all the ruckus was about. What do you think they discovered? Well, I think they discovered something they never knew to expect. They took care of sheep, but they've not really been around a lot of babies, I don't think. You know, thinking about shepherds reminds me of another story, a story about the birth of Jesus that they tell in the region of Provence in France. And you know, people found a way to make the story their own by imagining the Holy Family taking shelter in a cave, because in those hills, that's what exists, these magnificent caves that are really safe, really good places to take shelter. So, the shepherds were on their way. They couldn't wait to meet the baby Jesus. And what they, what they wanted to do was be sure they didn't turn up empty-handed. One of them brought eggs. Another bought bread and cheese. That sounds pretty French, doesn't it? The third one offered wine. We haven't had that in a while in church. And the fourth one, well, his name was Mojant. And he forgot his gift at home. But they let him keep going anyway. And they get to the cave, and they go inside. And they, they, they greet the family, and they tell Mary, wow, you're looking really amazing for just having given birth. And gosh, Joseph, I mean, you've made this little cave quite cozy. Well done. So they're exchanging gifts and greetings and having a merry time, and, and all of a sudden they start to go, wait, where's Lunchant? Where'd he go? They look for him high and low, and he vanished. The next thing they did, though, they peered behind the blanket that Joseph had hung at the entrance to the cave to keep the wind off of the baby Jesus, and, and there was Lunchant, totally silent, very still on his knees next to the baby Jesus. He was whispering, Yesu, Yesu, full of wide-eyed wonder. This gift of love that God came to give us in Jesus is pretty miraculous. It sparkles with wonder and joy, and it gives us everything that we need in the world. I wonder how that love is alive in our lives, too. At Christmas, we are taught that this miracle is something we get to take part in. This is our story, because God's love has come into the world, reaching out to everyone, to you, to Maggie, to me, to all people throughout history. And because love is with us, all shall be well. Love tender as a sleeping infant. Love meek as a shepherd on his knees. Love strong enough to mend our world. I hope that we all feel the power of that love in our lives this year. I wonder if you might be willing to do something with me. Any of you, all of you. I love that you came up here to make a visit to the baby Jesus. Will you help me take him back to the crush? It kind of looks like a cave back there. You don't actually have to have a costume on or anything. I mean, I don't really feel like a shepherd, but I think we all can play our part, gazing in wonder and gratitude at God's gift of love. Shall we go together? And when we come back, you can find your families and sit in the pews and continue our celebration of Christmas. Come, let us adore the baby Jesus and give God's unexpected gift of love. Amen. Do you want to come with me? Let's go together.
easy can put the baby Jesus right up by his mom and dad. Beautifully done. Thank you. Oh, oh. Let's, it's not steady. It's not anchored. I don't want it to fall on you. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you, Daisy. It's good. It's perfect. 